Today I'm making a chicken and hash brown casserole. It starts with frozen shredded hash browns that you just kind of measure about three cups into a bowl. I like to microwave these for a minute just to get them to start thawing out a little bit. Same thing with some mixed vegetables. Microwave it for a minute to start the thaw. And then some shredded chicken. If you have leftovers from Thanksgiving turkey or a roast chicken or a rotisserie chicken, that all works great. I didn't have any of that, so I just cooked up some boneless, skinless thighs and shredded it myself. Same thing with bacon bits. I usually use the kind just in a jar, but I had some bacon that needed to be used up, so I cooked it and I'm chopping it. Add all this to a bowl, the hash browns, the chicken, bacon, and the vegetables. Then, of course, we need some cream of chicken soup and some milk, a little bit of thyme, and then cheese. Give this all a stir to mix it up evenly, and then it's ready to transfer to your casserole dish. The dish I use is a seven by 11 inch rectangular pan. Prep it first with a little bit of cooking spray, and then just transfer that mixture into it. Next, we make our topping. I buy Ritz crackers in these fresh stacks, they call them. It's kind of half of a normal sized sleeve of Ritz. It's about 12 to 14 crackers in each of those little sleeves. And I like to crush it, as you can see, right in that, right in that container. It crushes up really well. And once you feel like it's all ready to go, you can just then open up the end and, and pour it into your little bowl. No fuss, no muss. Then to that, we just add a little bit of cheese, mix that together, and we have a topping for our casserole. Just sprinkle that evenly over the top and we're ready to go. When we bake this, this starts covered in foil and that step will take 30 minutes at 400 degrees. Once that part is done, you remove the foil and then they'll re return it to the oven for another 15 minutes. When that comes out, you can see it's golden brown and bubbly. Let it rest for another 10 to 15 minutes before you try to serve it. It just helps it set up a little bit better. And then at that point, it's ready to serve. You can cut it, you can scoop it with a spoon, however you like to serve your casserole. It's gonna taste pretty delicious no matter which way you do it. This is a family favorite in my house, and I hope you try it because if you do, I know you'll love it.